Okay, so this is how to rejet a carburetor. Um, this is the carburetor from a Honda CR125. It's 2001. Um, it was acting up. These jets are terrible. I already know that. And uh, I'm going to jet it back to stock and see how it runs. But first, I'm going to tell you how to um, take apart the carburetor and what you need to do to um, fix your jets. On this carburetor right here, there is a... Um, this is getting in the way. There is a uh, screw right here. I'll focus on it. There is a screw hole right there. The screw for mine, I already took it out. So all I need to do is take out the drain plug on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then the bottom comes off with one of these tubes. You can put that aside. There's nothing really in that. And in here will be all your jets. I took the jets out because I'm rejetting. Um, but I'll show you how it looks when all the stuff is in there. Okay, so this is how it looks when the jets are in. Uh, this one will be screwed in more. But I'm just... I just put them in briefly so I could show you guys how to look. This is the, uh, right here is the slope jet. Here's the main jet and then the thing that holds the main jet. So I'll take all these parts um, apart and I'll tell you what they are. So this is the main jet. And there'll be a number on top telling you what it is. This one uh, doesn't really matter yet because I'm going to tell you the ones that you need to put in for stock on the Honda CR125. This is the thing that holds the main jet. Down here is the slow jet, and th these jets will all be pretty tight, so you need to figure out the sizes. And this one is a flathead screwdriver. So there's that slow jet. That's what that looks like. All right, so for to rejet, I'm going to keep this. You can order another one of these off of motorsport.com, get OEM stuff. Um, so I ordered some OEM parts off motorsport. I got um, a couple things. I got a main jet that's 380. This is the stock jet for the CR125 2001. And I got a slow jet, which is 45, which is also the stock for the same bike. Um, right here, just to explain the carburetor a little more, are the floats. And this is a screw. You can take this screw out, and then you'll be able to take the floats out. Uh, there's this little thing in here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but there's this valve right here. And uh, basically, when you lift the f when you lift the floats up, it comes up, and that can also be worn out when you're looking at a carburetor. Some bikes you can just do the jets inside the bike if you can turn the carburetor up. But uh, yeah, anyways, I just took the carburetor out a lot easier, especially to explain in a video. All right, so here is my new slow jet. It is a 45. That's what's stock on this bike. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it in. But um, to clean out the jets. You either get an air compressor and you blow them out. Um, all these little holes right here. Try to zoom in on them. So all these little holes right there, they should be perfectly clean. You should be able to see through them. And then there's one hole in there. You can see that. And all you do is just blow air through that. So compressed air or you can just use your mouth and blow through it. Um, you can also get little brushes and clean inside. Don't use wire. It will sometimes damage the jets. So don't use wire. And you'd clean the main jet the same way. So anyway, screwing in this slow jet, you can blow out this hole right here, which I already did, and then you're going to get some carburetor cleaner. <sighs> this stuff, uh, you get it, you spray it in, and you clean out all the stuff inside of it. All right, so you want to put the straw on this one, and then you uh, shake it up a little bit and just spray through. Now watch out, it's going to spray out the other end, so I'm going to move all this stuff. And I'm going to spray this off camera, but you're just going to spray in all the little holes and blah, blah, blah. And uh, so once you're done spraying out all the little holes and stuff, and they look good to you, what you want to do, if you guys can hear that, you just blow through them so they clear out even more. All right, so once all the holes are nice and clean, um, I'm going to install my first jet here, which is the slow jet. All you do, make sure all these are clean. I know these are clean because it's new. If you're not sure, blow compressed air through it. And then all you want to do from here is screw it in. And when you get to the end here, you don't want to go super tight and you don't want to go super loose. I know you can't see. I'm screwing in the slow jet here. And at the end, you can use a flathead to screw it in the rest of the way. So once you feel it gets snug, you want to go not too far past that and just snug it in there. Um, the next jet we're going to screw in, or actually the next thing we're going to screw in is the uh, main jet holder. 
I don't know exactly what this is called, but you want to spray this out with carb cleaner and um, blow it out with compressed air, just like the other things. Okay, I've sprayed it. We're going to install it back into here. And you're going to have to find what size this uh, wrench thing is. I don't know what it is, but you're going to have to find the size. Alright, so this one's an 8. Uh, all I'm going to do is just tighten it down just a snugly after that's done. Uh, next, you're going to put in your main jet. So I have my new main jet over here. I'm going to open it up and then put it in. Alright, so we have the main jet. It is a 380. I'll zoom in on it. I don't know if you can see on top, but there's a little number that says 380 on it. And uh, that's the size jet that you're going to want for a CR125 2001. That's the stock jet. It'll say in your manual, your service manual, um, what the stock jet is. But there, there's a little number on top. And in there was a 300, so the guy before me uh, kind of really messed it up. So I'm going to put this thing in and see if that works a lot better. Alright, so screwing in the main jet here. You want to go finger tight and then go get whatever size this is. Pretty sure it's a 6. All right, so now I've got my six, uh, just like the holder. Snug it in there, and then you're good to go. You can um, now you have rejetted your bike. Now you can put back on your carburetor. And uh, same thing applies if you're not rejetting, but you're just cleaning the jets. You can just blow them out with compressed air, or you can try to blow them out yourself if that works. Then you're going to use carburetor cleaner, spray it in all the holes, and then once that's done, you put your jets back in. Make sure they're not too tight, and then you're going to adjust your air screw on the side according to how your bike runs. But I already know that the stock, what, sorry, I just hit the camera. I already know the stock air screw is going to be 2 and 1 fourth out. If you were wondering, the air screw is right in here. I'll zoom in on it, or focus there. Air screw is right in there. So in the whole carburetor, that's how it looks. The air screw is right in there. Yeah, I can't focus that much, but it's right in there. And you're going to know how much that uh, is by how many turns out or in it is. Um, one and a half tends to be the medium, and uh, two and a half tends to be the highest. Um, so kind of play in between um, one and two and a half, and you'll probably see something there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is how to rejet a carburetor. This will work for any carburetor. This is a two-stroke carburetor. Yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, this has been MTB Mechanics. See you guys in, in the next one. Peace.